All right, so today I'd like to uh, introduce my German tool that is under my name, Shin Tools. Uh, I have two different kind of uh, material. One is uh, made of uh, stainless steel. The blade is made of uh, uh, tungsten carbide. Um, the difference between both material is that the carbide tool it's much much harder material so it's very hard to worn out but it's very hard to uh, grind it to sharpen it too so you have to use the uh, diamond file to uh, sharpen it and uh, so here is the whole selection and I just received my um, number four uh, carbide tool uh, we I have been um, working on how to uh, sharpen the uh, the whole circle uh, so I just received a, a prototype so now I have a whole selection of uh, five carbide tools this this five from number two to number six are the uh, carbide tools and they are made of a very hard material carbides and then uh, brace it brace it uh, with the uh, stainless steel so this is the tool that uh, is the new tools that I have um, versus my original ones. These are the uh, stainless steel tools, and uh, you can see that uh, this have been uh, worn out after resharpening. The uh, the blade is not as uh, straight, but still it's a good uh, tool as long as you uh, sharp you uh, sharp resharpen it, and uh, still a very good tool. Uh, the only the drawback is that the material of uh, stainless steel is not as hard as the carbide, so uh, it, you have to resharpen it more often than the uh, carbide tools. Alright, so I will do a uh, test on the carbide tools. I'm going to use that to uh, uh, to cut through the bisque, the bisque chuck. And this is the uh, bisque chuck. And, uh, I will do the uh, demonstration. I'm using the tool to cut through the bisque chuck to show you, to demonstrate you, to you that uh, how hard this material is. And uh, even you have a this way, we can also cut it through. But uh, if you try to cut through the uh, carbide tool, uh, the uh, the chuck, the bisque chuck, it's gonna be very hard. Okay, it's gonna be very hard. Okay, and uh, it won't out easily. Okay, it won't out easily. Even you can cut through it, but uh, you have to uh, resharpen it after you cut it. But uh, for using the um, uh, carbide tool, after you cut it, you still uh, you still hold the, sh the sharp edge. Okay. You cut through it, but the edge is still very sharp because it's a harder material. Um, this is my new one, so I will use that to uh, do the demonstration on cutting and see how hard it is. Yeah, after cutting through my bisque chuck, the uh, blade still stay very sharp. Okay, so this is my new number four tungsten carbide trimming tool that uh, only have uh, several pieces available. I can see all the powder is coming off. And there's a uh, little curve here, small curve. So going through the uh, this way, uh, no problem. So uh, even if you have a stoneware, it's easier to uh, cut through using the carbide tool. All right. 
So if you have bought my tools, uh, please leave your comment down below or your thought uh, down below and uh, tell me that which tool you uh, like the most or you use the most often. Uh, Carbide tool, stainless tool, screw fiddle tool or the uh, wooden rib or me measuring tools. Alright, so I will have a slideshow of uh, my tool selections. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.